1973, the U.S. government were neglecting inner city communities all around this country. But one thing that a lot of people don't talk about when we talk about hip hop is the birth of hip hop. The reason why we're here right now is because of a woman. Not a man, not an MC, it's because of a woman. Back in the day, Bronx, New York, corruption, housing problems, gang warfare, all aspects of negativity you can imagine. Total destruction was going on. Children were dropping out of school, havoc, chaos, drugs, gangs. Cindy Campbell, on the way to work every day, would notice that things were not good. Her brother, Clive, who doesn't like being called Clive, was at home and he DJ all the time. He DJ little parties. And back then, in 73, there was no hip hop people. So Cindy goes home one day and says, instead of DJing, practicing at home, cutting up the brakes, go out to the park. Set up the equipment in the park. At least give the kids something to do. Cindy was able to convince Clive to take his equipment out to the park. Bronx, the corner of 179th Street and Cedar Avenue, is Cedar Park. He goes, he sets up his equipment. August 11th, 1973. Starts playing music, and back then he would needle drop. I don't know if you all know about needle dropping. The youth right now, they're, they're blessed with technology and iPods and mixers and sounding boards. Herc would needle drop. His name was Cool DJ Herc. He set up his equipment, and he started playing the breaks, the beginning parts of the jams, of the songs. Soul, funk, disco. There was no hip hop. Now the boys and girls that came to the park, they're dancing to the breaks. Herc's needle dropping, playing the breaks. They're dancing to the breaks. The boys and the girls are dancing to the breaks. Break dancing. Damn, but, but breaks, that's, that's a long word, B. Those boys that were dancing to the breaks, break, B, B boys, hmm, B girls. Element number three, the dancer, the B boy, the B girl. They start dancing. Now, at the same time, word got out throughout the Bronx, especially in the Bronx River housing projects, there was a gang called the Black Spades. Kevin Donovan, another big guy, he's still big. He heard, in the Bronx, Cedar Park, somebody's DJ in my Bronx. Let's go see what's going on. He walks into the park, notices black boys and black girls and Puerto Ricans and some Jewish kids all in the Bronx having fun. No violence, no crime. It was, it was a temporary escape from the realities of living in an inner city, especially Bronx, New York, 1973. He witnessed, Kevin Donovan witnessed positivity, witnessed people having fun. In the worst times, Ronald Reagan was out in the Bronx and he said this is worse than the Blitz, than the aftermath of the Blitz, which was a war. It was horrible. Kevin went home. He started, to, rather than fighting, rather than being part of any form of violence, he started thinking. I can't believe everybody was there having a good time. Due to an a, a entry in a, in a poetry competition, he was given an opportunity to fly out to Africa. Kevin Donovan went to Africa, and he spent some time with the Zulu tribe in Africa. He thought, he learned, he understood his heritage. He came back. He came to the Bronx again. 1520 Central Gap, Herc was DJing in the Red Park. November 12th, a few months later, 1973, he had changed his name from Kevin Donovan to Africa Bambada. And on November 12th, he started hip hop. He established He's, he coined the words, this is hip hop on the foundation of peace, unity, love, and having fun. You have the graffiti writers, element number one, the DJ, element number two, and the b-boy, the b-girl, element number three. 
So Herc had Kokloroc, um, Africa Bambata had his people, Herc also had the Herculoids, Africa Bambata, Sosan and Forest, Zulu Nation. And when they started DJing at places, his MCs, and they weren't called MCs at the time, grabbed the mic because they wanted to give shout outs. Yo, Herc is on the ones and twos, he'll turn it out without a doubt. And the people that were dancing and having fun during their escape from their realities were like, what? Cool Herc is in the house and he'll turn it out without a doubt. What? So all of a sudden, the audience started giving a little bit of attention to the person grabbing the mic. And the person grabbing the mic would notice that the people in the audience started looking at the person grabbing the mic. Hey, they're looking at me. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, somebody say ho. Yo. So they'd go home, and th these little shout outs, these little shout outs would go from one sentence to two sentences to three sentences to the birth of the fourth element of hip hop, the MC. In 1975 76, we get the third mastermind pioneer DJ. Anyone? Flash. Flash. Grandmaster Flash. Joseph Sadler, he had the Furious Five. In the 70s, Cool Herc and the Herculoids, Africa Bambada, who coined the term hip hop on November 12, 1973, establishing hip hop on the foundation of peace, unity, love, and having fun, and Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Those three would start hosting house parties, block parties, parties in the park, and hip hop started growing. Graffiti art, the DJ, the B-boy, the B-girl, and the MC. Next year, this month, next year, we celebrate the 40th year of hip hop. And my hope is that kids who are blessed with technology and can turn on the radio and listen to the same artists in LA that are being played in Chicago and New York, elsewhere, hip hop has a foundation. It has a history. And those of us who were teenagers in the 80s that are pursuing education, we are the hip hop scholars now. And it's our duty to create hip hop schools and, and create curriculums where children can understand the foundation of hip hop. Four elements, graffiti art, the DJ, the B-boy, B-girl, and the MC.